All right guys, so this is the 98 Jetta TDI. That is my personal car that I bought in, I believe it was February of 98. And I am going to be selling this unit. I have got too many cars in the stable. This one is going to be going. It's been an absolutely awesome car. I've got tons of details to give you. That is the original paint. Just going to give you a quick over around or fly around first. This is obviously the original seats. Uh, I do in the front have the wet Acole seat covers. Uh, the front seats basically have really never been sat on. They've had seat covers on them the entire time that this that I've had the car. Um, the only minor mishap on the car is this dent and little gouge that happened about I don't know 12 14 years ago and as I said this is the original paint still nice and shiny and there is a little place right here where the clear coat is starting to come off but other than that uh, no problems at all there is no rust at all in the car for you people that may be up north trying to uh, find one of these that are rust free. The, um, of course the remote still works for the trunk. And I've got a WeatherTech liner in here that I put on the car back in, I believe it was 98. And of course it's got the spare tire and everything back here. Gas door opening. This was the Polo White, it was called. There is some little bit of fading on the plastic, which I never have bothered to do anything about because, well, it just doesn't matter. No cracks in the dash, no weirdness at all in the interior. The tires are fairly new. I've got a record book, which I will show you guys here in a little bit. That's got everything that I've ever done to the car, including every fill up. Every time I filled this car up, I have this book right here that, um, as you can see, there. Bought it in, I'm sorry, it was January of 98, had 50 miles on it, and every single time I filled up, every single thing I've ever done to it, fuel, rotating tires, any repair work, and this goes on and on and on. This book is almost full. So, the mileage currently is, let me see, when the last, I'll show you the odometer in a minute. is around 373. I'll go ahead and crank it up. Now the scan gauge does not go with the car. All right, that just plugs into your OBD2 port and uh, I'm keeping the scan gauge. So if you want one of those, they're not very expensive. I'm trying to get a shot of the lights. Now, one of the awesome things about this car is that you'll see this thermometer here the ac in this thing is absolutely phenomenal um, it's about 85 degrees out right now as you see the water temperature is only it's at 73 and this will get down to 
about 30 degrees. Phenomenal um, air conditioning. It's got the factory Volkswagen stereo, which never was very good, but I put this um, steering wheel cover on, I don't know, about 12 years ago. But it's got crank windows. Um, this was just the basic TDI that came out in 98. Of course, it's a five-speed. Now, if you go to my channel, you will see I have lots of videos on how to do all kinds of things. Some of the highlights of this car, um, besides the fact that it is in such phenomenal shape, you can see it's got 373 613. Now, the reason there's no three there is, I didn't know this, but at 299, 999.9, it turns over to zero, zero, zero. I don't know why Volkswagen on the A3 models didn't have the hundreds of thousands of digit there, but if you'll, if you'll see one that says total in the top left corner, that means it hasn't turned over. Okay, so right now, this car could easily pass for 73,000 miles, but it's 373,000. So, just so you guys know that. I get on the highway about almost 55 miles a gallon, I've run the AMS oil um, 1540 in this car the entire time that it that I've had it. It's got a Trasco bypass filter, and as I said, everything I've ever done to it, including flushing the brake, brake fluid and every year, and I, I'm meticulous about maintenance. And we'll look under the hood in just a minute. Um, it does have a lockable glove box, and in here. It's just jam-packed with receipts. It's got the original owner's manual, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open all this right now, but I can't fit any more in here. So, it barely closes. But this has been an awesome car. Uh, I put a clutch in it, I don't know how many miles ago. I'll look at it in, in the book, but it's got, I rebuilt the shift box. I've got a video on that, uh, and done tons. It's got the European, um, it's got the European 110 horsepower Kerma TDI Basio injectors and nozzles on there and um, yeah I mean it's just it's an awesome car cruise control works intermittent uh, wipers you know everything but I wanted it to show you guys how cold this will get so we're gonna jump out all right so there is the TDI and as I said, it's got the uh, Basio nozzles with the, 100, the 110 horsepower nozzles. Perma TDI had um, built those for me. Uh, I left the marking tape on. I had all the lines and everything marked when I pulled the transmission out to do the, the clutch and everything. But it's an absolutely phenomenal car. Really, really is nice. Uh, it's not due really for the timing belt till I think 410,000 miles. I've got a diehard, it's an AGM absorbed glass mat battery in there. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few highlights here. Um, at 372, I put a new thermostat and coolant and changed the power steering fluid. I also replaced one of the hoses at the bottom. And of course, every time I did rotation and balance, I got the Wet Ocoli seat covers on there at 366. I put the Trasco bypass filter and the Amsoil again at 365. Uh, new wheel bearings with the Conklin Rhino grease on the back. Um, I did a video on the um, Make That Paint Shine series on this car if you want to watch that. Had an alignment at 363. That's when I got the tires. So the tires have about 10,000 miles on them. And, you know, just odds and ends like a brake light switch. I have a uh, new front rotors and pads and that was done at 355 of course
course the oil and filter again I replaced the cooler oil cooler o-ring I did a video on that you can watch that rebuilt the shift box at 352 I did the timing belt at 351 and also replaced relay 109 Uh, new injectors, there we go, the 110 horsepower European ones at 346. I replaced the starter at 345. The die hired battery was at 345. Let's see, okay, so I did the clutch at 342, and it's of course got 373 on it. Of course, oil filter change, glow plugs at 340. And this just goes on and on all the way back to mile 50. I uh, replaced the back brakes with Volkswagen brake shoes at 332 and I all this work was done by me this is the only thing the dealer really has ever done is maintenance or um, I'm sorry warranty work if it needed to be uh, had an alignment done so it just goes I've rebuilt had the front CV axles rebuilt while I had the uh, new ball joints it's got new tie rod ends and it wasn't because they were wore out it was just because the the uh, bushings or not the bushings the boots one of the boots had a tor tear in it new struts front and rear so it just goes on and on and on so as I said this goes all the way back to when I bought the car January 31st 1998 all right, so I'm sitting here. This is the, if you want to test how cold a car's AC will get, put it on recirculate, put it on fan speed one. And as you can see here, we're at 29 degrees. This car has been pumping out ice cold air like this since the day I bought it. So I have sometime, gosh, I can't remember, it's in the book, but I had, replace the dryer and uh, the uh, expansion valve because it had failed but anyway we're back to so I always keep that in here and uh, this thermometer I, yes I will leave it with the car but again the scan gauge does not go that's mine I'm gonna put that in my truck if you would like to get one you may do so you can pretty much find them anywhere um, transmission shifts nice and smooth and then of course we've got reverse but it's a standard five speed you couldn't get an automatic this year with the TDI and it's got little almost useless console holder you've got your dome light and vanity mirror Anyway, this was pretty much a no-frills TDI car back then. It does have power locks. Um, and of course, yes, the remote does work. It, it's got crank windows, so I don't know if a lot of people have even seen those anymore. But anyway, so uh, we are going to, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get a little video driving. Uh, it may be hard for me to do it with holding the camera, but... Anyway, guys, if you have any interest in this car, just uh, get back with me, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, one thing that I do wanted, uh, want to mention is I do have the original window sticker that was on the car. That will go to the new owner. And I have the original sales brochure that came out in 98 and somewhere in here let's get the TDI it had a little blurb if I remember correctly about the engine yeah, there we go. So anyway, that goes along 
uh, with the other paperwork that I have to the brand new owner. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do this with my GoPro. Hopefully the video will turn out all right. So this car has pretty much been my daily driver for the last 19 years. And yeah, not a lot I can say about that. Other than it is what it is. So I want you to see that the air is around a hundred and I don't know 110 or so degrees out of the vent I've got the AC on right now fan speed 2 when we circulate that'll get down very very cool very quickly now this is the original engine never been rebuilt the only thing I've ever done to the engine other than just maintenance is uh, the timing belts. This uh, engine has a service interval of 60,000 miles. Thing on this car when you come to a stop just wait 
like a second and a half before you put it in gear. So that's pretty much the temperature it always runs at, about 160, between 161 and 167 or so. Uh, if you're in heavy traffic, I think the hottest I've ever seen this get is like 180. That's with the air on. And as you see, we've dropped to like 31 degrees or so. telling you this air is cold I had to turn it down to fan speed one but as you saw earlier it'll get down to about 29 degrees so anyway um, one thing that I always do is about five minutes before I shut the car off I turn the AC off what that does is it allows the evaporator to dry out some and you don't get that mildew and moldy smell coming out the vents so anyway guys if you're interested in the uh, in the car talking with me about it just give me a, um, a call give me an email contact me and we'll discuss it thanks for your time